Please take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know the half of the abuse All my friends are heathen, take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know People who have rooms of people that they love one day Docked away Just because we check the guns at the door Doesn't mean our brains will change From hand grenades You love another psychopath sitting next to you You love another murderer sitting next to you You think that I get this sitting next to you But after all I said Please don't forget All my friends are here taking slow have a certain smell yeah trust issues not to mention they say they can smell your intentions you love on the freak show sitting next to you you love some weird people sitting next to you you think i did not get here sitting next to you but after all i've said please don't forget Guys, I just got to meet Jenna Coleman and she signed a picture for me and that was amazing. Comic Con is going really well the first day. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna walk around. Are you excited to meet Jenna? She's an angel. Okay, I want it again. Jenna Coleman, guys, who's excited? Give it to me. Cool. Listen, we're on a tight schedule, so one question per person when we do the questions, okay? And no, you can't get on stage and take pictures with Jenna. But you should go to her table later, okay? All right, guys, give me one more big, huge, loud round of applause for Jenna. Get her out here. Because I got to travel through time and space. 
and um, my best friend would be an alien um, and uh, you'd get to tell really, really cool stories and like have a spaceship, which is kind of like your home. Um, so it was just, it was impossible to say no to. You kind of, it's, it didn't feel like a job, it was an adventure. Thank you. Over here. Hi. Um, I was wondering, my question for you is, what is it like to play Bonnie? Oh, weird. Um, Again, I loved it I, I, because it was obviously, you know, you, you kind of felt like you got to do the, the Doctor Who villain for an episode. Although, what it meant was because Bonnie was talking with um, Clara, Clara and Bonnie, uh, it meant I spent a lot of time by myself. So in that episode, I was literally just like talking to green screen and like, it, which is, I'm so used to working with Peter who's so reactive. I can't believe I just compared Peter to a green screen. <laughs> But because, you know, so I, as soon as I saw Peter again, I was like, oh, I'm so happy to like be acting with a human being again. Um, because a lot of work of, of Bonnie and Clara meant I was, you know, at the TV and just at a green screen for days and days. So although I loved, um, you know, kind of doing the darker uh, uh, side of it, it was, it was nice to work with humans. Okay, so to shoot with Matt Smith, uh, the you? snowman. The snowman was great. I would say Asylum of the Daleks because I loved it, but again, that was to a green screen, not really to Matt as such. Although I loved it on screen and the script and the story. Um, so for me, the snowman still. I think it's like when you, when the Doctor enters your life and what uh, that reaction is to meeting him for the first time. I, I loved, um, I loved that story and kind of like stalking him and chasing him down, which was a lot of what the snowman was. Thank he you. will be my friend. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's loud, isn't it? Yeah. It's like hearing your own voice back. It's not pleasant. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing story with Matt? doing the embarrassing stuff, I think. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Or maybe I've blocked out the very embarrassing stuff. Um, a lot of what Matt used to do is, you know, um, which is actually why I think he's ended up having a knee operation, which is, is, like, all the doctors end up having knee operations in the same one, seriously. And I think it's because, um, you know, like, when you're doing the running action stuff, and then, like, you come to a skid. So you, you like skid along the, and then come to a stop, and it's like the action pose, Doctor Who using your knees thing. So um, we used to have this surface, like in what's the episode? Episode two, the oh my goodness, the alien planet one. Thank you. Yes, brings a racket in. And then there was like all this sand stuff on the floor. So Matt did this like really cool skid, but then carried on going and like fell over like a palm tree <laughs> onto the floor, and then stood up and tried to pretend it didn't hurt. <laughs> I tried to pretend, like, carry on, and that, it, that it was cool, but it kind of ruined it. She's really shy, and she was wondering if she could give you a bracelet. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. <laughs> Awesome the and I was like, hmm, how does this work? So I remember I had to text him to be like, so is this, is this the goodbye? Do we play this as the real goodbye? And he was like, no, 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 no. Like, this is the real goodbye, but, you, but, you know, it, we're going to end it in a different way. Which is, again, always the case with Stephen. It's all very um, uh, mysterious. So I remember thinking it was a great episode. And then on set, they launched an actual raven at me. Um, <laughs> They just stood me on a mark and then let uh, Raven free from a cage <laughs> with the trainer behind me. So then I kept forgetting to die because I was so happy that the Raven hadn't hit me. And also that, you know, like the experience of it was so exhilarating because it literally just went past your head, like really, really close, this huge Raven. So then I kept forgetting to fall on the ground afterwards. So we had to do it again and again and again. <laughs> so that was quite a fun day. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah.
two oh. people up line at the same time, actually. Um, so I wasn't around much of that episode. Um, but I, I really enjoyed that series that because it was, you know, going stepping into storybooks, going to be Robin Hood and, and going to the 1920s. And um, I, I mean, again, for me, The Snowman is such a, a favourite episode of mine, just being in Victorian London. Um, and that adventure in itself felt a bit... Uh, fairy tale and were quite romantic in a way which I which I enjoyed. Okay, good to go. We hope you enjoyed this panel at Tampa Bay Comic Con. Please collect all your belongings.